Dr. Shaw, what, what's the difference between <clears throat> diagnosing the plaque and then plaque characterization and then the disease that's in the wall? Because isn't the disease in the wall expressed in the plaque? Yeah, correctly. And, and, and I think one of the factors I just wanted to quickly add on uh, what Dr. Pelbert talked about is, you know, all of those things can be accurately um, discerned with CT, okay, whether or not you have lipid rich plaque, uh, how much calcified plaque you have, but at the heart of what the value is, is this fundamental shift more towards prevention. And, and that is really at the key until this technology and including plaque characterization came along, we couldn't really focus uh, on prevention and understanding plaque burden and understanding risk. And now with our abilities to discern non-calcified plaque, very high risk necrotic core, a, a bulky lesion that's positively remodeled with a lot of lipid rich plaque, we know that's a very temporally uh, risky lesion as Dr. Stone actually was fundamental in teaching us. So that is the key to identifying the risk in the patient and really initiating life-saving therapies. And we know that when we show a patient, you show the patient their scan, you say, this is the plaque in your arteries, uh, patients are much more adherent to care. Mm. So we can actually initiate a disease modifying and life-saving therapies, there has never been a modality which has allowed us to be so inextricably linked with preventive cardiology as, as CT can be. So it's really, it's, it's just a game changer in terms of patterns of care and understanding who to intensify, who as, as Dr. Stone said, has stable plaque and to make all kinds of unique decisions which we have heretofore not been able to. Hmm. It's been game changer. 